NCAA Tournament. Today's game is between the Eastern Washington Eagles and the San Diego State Aztecs. And of course, the ever so popular tournament bracket, especially at this time of year. And of course, our starting lineup. I tell you, Gus, the matchup at center should be a special one. These two put up some great numbers, and they will be a handful tonight. Here's a look at how these teams plan on controlling the tempo. The Aztecs get possession, and away we go. Out on the wing. Shots up. Shots off. Great strength. The Eagles motion for around one. Understanding what type of shot you want is essential in this offense. Down on the low block. He stood his ground there, Coach. Great anticipation. The Aztecs running their zone offense. Now, this particular offense is extremely tough because they get into the high-low look. On the right side. With 10 to shoot now. On the right side. Ball stripped. Way out on the right wing. Thanks for joining us here on CBS Sports. Gus Johnson along with Bill Raftery. How about that back cut, Gus? These kids can play a little bit. Terrific delivery. The Aztecs set up into their four around one offense. Uh, if you have a good postman, it's very tough to defend. Everything centers on him. Fires. He can't get it to go. Pulls it in. On the outside. Look at that block. Terrific reaction. Try to pack it inside. In the lane. Shots off. There for the rebound. And hits. Now we've got a turtle. They work the perimeter. Jump shot. Off the mark. Give me that. Looking for a good shot. And he's fouled. He got the bucket to go, and he'll have the chance to add one from the strike. What composure. Take the hit and complete the sequence. Well, with this young man, they have experience, and we all know experience is tough to come by, Gus. But seniors just see situations and know how to react to them appropriately. the perimeter in the lane shots off takes the board in the post fires 
And he can't get the bounce. Push it. In the lane. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. We're at the eight-minute mark. On the left side. Jump shot. Shots off. Shots off. Grabs the rebound. Looking for a good shot. He missed it. Will he get back up with it? Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. On the outside, he shoots from the corner. These rims are giving them trouble, Coach. They can't get anything to drop. They work the perimeter. Look at that block. Terrific. And he's fouled. Too aggressive on defense here. He winds up with the foul. Oh, you always get your hand reaching in and get in trouble. Raph, these two teams in the first half of this tournament game have shown that they definitely belong. It's obvious to me that neither one is ready to go home. Both teams are competing well right now. The goal at this point in the game is to remain close. You don't want to fall too far behind. These teams are demonstrating that this one may go down to the wire. Gets two at the charity strike. They've got him trapped now, Raph. They've got him in trouble, Gus. Turnover. He'll want that one back. Now they work it around the perimeter. Can finish. for the foul. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. Opportunity here to put some points up, Gus, with the clock stopping. it inside. It's a call for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. Well, Bill, this young man's now in his second season of eligibility. He's still young, but the coach has him out there for a reason. He tends to make the right decisions out there, which means more playing time for him. A simple concept that applies to everyone, regardless of age or experience. Both free throws go. We've got a break in the action, folks. Stay tuned for more CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball.
And after the timeout, we're all set to pick things up. We are at the six-minute mark. In the post. In the lane. The senior. This guy is a complete player in the post. The big fella can face you up, play back to the basket. He's a good rebounder and solid on that defensive end. On the outside, he shoots from the corner. And no! Rips it down. On the wing. Position for the ball screen now. Now with 10 to shoot. They work it around the perimeter. In the lane. No. What a rebound. I own it. In the post. Fired. He can't get it to go. Give it here. Way out on the right wing. Jump shot. Off the mark. Oh, a competitive Gus. And he's fouled. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. Here's another solid junior build. Juniors and seniors are such important pieces of any college team. Having experienced kids like him can really help coaches and reinforce team philosophies. Gotta make the freebies, Billy. We're at the four-minute mark. They work it around the perimeter. Fires. Shots off. What a rebound. Now they work it around the perimeter. And he lays it up and in. their feet tough place to play ah he got it up and in that's a good pass really a great floor general Gus he does a nice job running the offense out on the right wing we're at the three minute mark turns it over They work the perimeter. He swats the ball. On the right side. And the block. Looking for a good shot. Jump shot with 10 to shoot now. The Aztecs have controlled the tempo here. Gotta love the way they've come out here and really focused on their game plan. They've done a good job making sure the game is being played at their pace. Raph, so far it's been a demonstration of teamwork. If you're on the floor, that means your coach believes that you can make a contribution. This team has received quality play from many different individuals.
They're set to throw it in from the side. In the lane. Shots off. Tump it inside. And lays it in. Entry pass in the paint. Up and in. Ha ha! In the post, fires, got it! Under one minute remaining on the game clock. Now they work it around the perimeter. In the lane, it's good. What a pass on the backdoor cut, Coach. That was just a great cut and feed to complement the move, Gus. The best part about it is that it capped it off with a basket. Way out on the right wing. Looking for the bomb. Can't connect from the three-point line. on the play. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You've really got to know your limitations, Gus. Two shots. Got it from the free throw line. You've got to be prepared when you go up against this team, Raph. Their pressure can be relentless at times. They love to pressure you full court. Well, you're right on top of that, Gus. They really like to force you into mistakes with their pressure. The Aztecs are really controlling the tempo. Doing a nice job of controlling the speed of the game, Gus. They're really dialed in here, and Coach has got to enjoy it. One half is in the book. Stay tuned for CBS at the half. And here is our game summary. We've seen a lot of action and some impressive play here today. A look at these numbers can give you an idea of who has been doing what. Here's a look at how both teams are doing with their keys to the game. <laughs> Bill, what's going through these young guys' minds now? Here they are. They've worked all season long just to get to the NCAA tournament, and we've got a half behind us and a half to go, and somebody's got to go. You know what I think is really impressive here tonight, Gus? Is the fact that both of these clubs are focused on each possession. The level of concentration is where you'd expect it to be during the tournament. He lets it go, and he misses the shot. You gotta have your head up during these transitions. Call for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really gotta know your limitations, Gus. A chance for two. Great attack. Gets it. Gets two at the 
charity strike. In the paint. Foul on the play. Too aggressive on defense here. He winds up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in. You get in trouble. Coach, when a team shoots this well from the line, playing aggressive defense can come back to haunt you. When a team shoots a high percentage from the line, it makes them that much harder to defend. Both free throws go. May have them right where they want him, Raph. It's stripped. Hands. Shots off. Nice rebound. Out on the wing. Inside. Low block. Jump shot. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. They work it around the perimeter. Turns it over. Out on the left wing. He lets it go, and he can't get the bounce. On the left side, fired. He missed it. Off the mark with the shot. They work the perimeter. And it's knocked away. Great block. He can't get around the trap. The young guy has some trouble with that trap. Turnover. They'll go the other way. Now looking to attack. The Aztecs have been getting contributions from multiple players here tonight. Everyone has been getting involved, Gus. Unselfish play, getting timely defensive stops, and really good execution at the offensive end. Put a little English on it. On the wing. Jump shot. And hits. We're at the eight minute mark. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fired. The shot won't fall. In the post. Jump shot. No good. Good 
He can't get around the trap. The young guy has some trouble with that trap. Out of bounds, and we're staying right here. How about a second time? Check out this layup. How about the concentration at the tin? Despite being banged in the paint. Seven minutes left on the game clock. Foul on the play. And one. Beautiful. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but he's just got to know when to back off. Bill, we had a great tournament game going on here in the first half. I don't know what happened here in the second half, but it's not even close enough. God, this is a close one, Gus. I think the last few possessions are going to dictate who moves on and who goes home. That trap could spell trouble. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fires good. In the post. In the lane. Gets it to go. Turnover. He'll want that one back. The Eagles in a hurry. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. On the outside. Jump shot. The sophomore. The Aztecs are doing a terrific job of controlling the game. Really done a great job establishing a good pace. A pace that suits their strengths as a team. In the post. Great block shot. Dump it inside. No. Pulls down the rebound. They work the perimeter. Fires. Can't put it down. We're at the five minute mark. They work it around the perimeter. Can't get it to go. Looking for a good shot. Jump shot. Perfect. The Aztecs are playing their style and controlling the tempo. You know, Gus, it's all about going out there and executing. They've done a great job of taking care of tempo. He fires away. You bet. On the right side. Four minutes left on the game clock. Nice low post play. Good entry down into the box. Barely. On the left side, he puts up the tray. Nails it from downtown. Well, Raph, this could go down to the wire. You've got to love these close ones, Gus. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. Gus, you've got to love these tight ones. So much on the line here. One wrong move is all it takes. There's no room for error. Now we've got a turnover. We're at the three-minute mark. Now they work it around the perimeter. 
Off the mark with the shot. On the outside. Fires. No. Can finish. And he lays it up and in. Now that's taking it strong to the rim, isn't it? That's a great take. Strong to the 10. That puts incredible pressure on the D when you go to the hoop like that. Way out on the right wing. Jump shot. No! Makes them so competitive on the glass. Dump it inside. We are at the two-minute mark. Fire! He gets the shot to fall. On the outside. Jump shot. It won't fall. In the post, he throws up the shot. Big time dagger. Going with the ball screen now. One minute left on the game clock. He blocks the shot. That goes out of bounds. What can stay at this end? Let's get another look at the layup. You've got to make these inside ones, Gus. They're high percentage shots. They just got to be completed. Ladies and gentlemen, more CBS Sports coverage after this. And we're ready. And we're back. Gus Johnson along with Bill Raftery with you here, ready to inbound after the timeout.
And we're back ready to get things going again after the timeout. Out on the right wing. He intercepts it. A little clock management now, Gus. You have to foul in order to stop the clock. Gus, I think they'll keep fouling until they're back into this game. And I think that's his disqualifying foul. And, of course, another foul as they try to remain close. Not much else they can do. And yet another stoppage, and yet another foul. And why not? This may be interesting. He's not the greatest free throw shooter. So much of it is mental, Gus. Welcome back, and we're set to inbound after the timeout. Long lead pass. He launches the bomb. Outside, Jay won't go. It's all about shot selection, Gus. It's so important to take good shots, and not necessarily the shot the defense wants you to take. A chance for one and the bonus. Sinks it. Hits that one. No! Bill, I think the better team won. It's heartbreaking for the other side, but that's the way it goes. Five and advance is the name of the game. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all of the little intangibles we consistently talk about. And that was the difference in this game. That does it for us here today. Until next time, for Coach Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson. Thanks for watching College Basketball here on CBS Sports.